Hello my friends, welcome to Install Electronic Channel and this is Uncle Misha and today we are looking at this PK Cell 10440 batteries. So our goal today is to understand is it good or crap. So we're gonna run some tests and see how good are they. This I need for my future project. So be patient with me and we're gonna know what's gonna happen. So what do we have here? We have two PK cell branded lithium batteries um, uh, of 3.7 volt. They called ICR 10440. 10440 stands for 10 millimeter diameter, 440 uh, the length of the battery, 10 440 millimeters. Sorry, 44 millimeters. 440 that would be a really long battery. 44 millimeters, zero. I don't know what the, the so 1040. For, for that's what's usually supposed to be so these are PK cell branded made in China obviously and they are rated for 350 milliampere hours right here so this is something I would like to double check I'm just wondering if this is true or false 350 milliampere hours because uh, they are really small the size of uh, essentially the size of the regular AAA battery exactly the same size so and they but they are not interchangeable so theoretically you can replace one of these by three of these because this battery can go all the way up to 4.2 volt when fully charged even a little bit higher so this battery can go uh, 1.5 by 3 is 4.5 but if you are using a something like that like this all right so these three of these gonna be only 3.6 volts so one of these can go instead of three of these keep that in mind but they are not interchangeable technically they are not just voltage rating wise they are especially if this gonna be charged these and these have completely different charging procedure just back to this guy so this is lithium battery 3.7 volt 350 milliampere hours so let's just get them open and see what we have so dimensionally dimensionally looks like they are okay they are pretty light but we just do something here quickly so I have this kitchen scale, just take a regular energizer, 12 grams, Lada, a little bit more expensive, sorry, a little bit more heavier, and these guys, super light. So this is suspicion number one, so I thought this guy is going to be actually heavier than this, but look like, they, oops, they are. They are super light, you see I'm just dropping them like 9.1 gram and this one even lighter I think, 9 grams, so 9 grams versus 12 and something, almost 12 and a half versus almost 12. So these guys are identical, these are light. So I have this NitaCore charger here, which is obviously will be completely fine for charging these batteries. The only thing is it's going to crank up some serious current on them. But looks like they are out of the box, they are relatively charged. Okay, let's keep the smaller current. Alright, so now it's going to switch to 300 mA, charging is still pretty high. <laughs> Yeah, so what are you gonna do? I'm gonna charge these guys and then I'm gonna discharge them using my other charger because this doesn't have uh, discharge capabilities. This way we're gonna measure their true capacity. So let them charge and we'll revisit in, in probably a few hours. So my friends, I have run some tests over a uh, night. I, I did several charge discharge of this battery and this one. In order to determine the capacity for charging and discharging, and I came to conclusion that this battery, uh, under several charges and discharges, cycles comes to 300 to 319 milliampere or 316 milliampere hours. So it's a bit far from 
claimed 300 whatever they say here 350 so uh, discharge voltage was 3 volt not whatever they say I don't know I think 3 volt is pretty safe bet and the uh, full charge was 4.2 so yeah this battery is less than the it claims so instead of 350 it goes probably about uh, 300 and this is a really good charger really precise so I must say um, but this battery is sort of borderline okay if you kind of desperate but I would say su I'll suggest you to you to find something uh, else because the rated capacity is less than it stated here unless they discharge the battery to all the way to 2.7 or something like that to squeeze this uh, extra like 40 milliamp hours mm, yeah I'm not sure I would recommend this PK cell 10 440 battery ICR 10 440 um, yeah but uh, uh, while searching online I didn't see many choices for these batteries so hmm looks like at least on Amazon there's not many choices but there are lots of choices on eBay and Alibaba and stuff like that but you don't know what are they so you have to kind of get them you know if they crop you cannot return them but this crop I can at least at this crop I can return so they rated uh, uh, higher than the actual capacity is so as you see I, I'm MacGyver here um, the battery kind of uh, compartment and this is from the older flashlight all right so and as you see obviously this battery is exactly the same size as uh, AAA's so they fit here nicely but in this case I would like if you would like to use this battery in here which would be probably stupid because it's only 300 milliamp uh, hours rather than for example where are they three of these would be 900 milliamp per hours working together so yeah like yeah it's that that, that doesn't add up adds up so yeah hmm. so this would work three of these would work way longer than one of these um, yeah I would have to short something here just to actually supply proper voltage but anyways my point is that I, um, I reuse this one in order to charge this battery because I don't have nice uh, you know slot or charger pl placement for this one okay so this is probably gonna be it we did review this PK cell I, I, uh, ICR 10 for 40 lithium rechargeable battery and its capacity is lower and when capacity is lower when the capacity is low at first place dropping 50 milliampere hours or so from its rated capacity is significant because this is about 15 or so percent less it's substantial it could be like for example 1000 and 15 percent will be not too too bad or like you know two million uh, two two per hour still kind of significant number right if you think about it but but when it's uh, that low dropping 50 out of here it's uh, already substantial on the other hand they are small and light you can carry a few of these in your pocket and if you need them you can just plop them and keep going uh, anyways I think that's gonna be it we actually see the actual capacity of the battery and it is lower as I mentioned before um, if you guys have any ideas what battery I can test more please shoot me a message or make a comment I would like to hear from you and if you like this sort of videos please like subscribe stay tuned See ya next time and take care.